Hi everyone. HMS Cumberland was a 74-gun third-rate ship of the line of the Royal Navy, launched on the 29th of March 1774 at Deptford Dockyard. She saw action against the French fleet both before and during the Napoleonic Wars. She was broken up in 1818. HMS Cumberland was built to the designs of Captain Thomas Slade, who developed a standard design for third-rate ships of the line. The ship was built of wood, primarily oak and fir. Construction of Cumberland began on 7 January 1769 at Deptford Dockyard. The ship was built using traditional methods, with manual labor and wooden tools. The ship was 226 feet long, 50 feet wide, and 19 feet deep. She was armed with 74 guns, including 30 32 pounder guns on the lower deck, 28 18 pounder guns on the middle deck, and 16 9 pounder guns on the upper deck. Construction of the ship took five years and was completed on the 29th of March 1774. The launching of Cumberland at Deptford Dockyard was a ceremonial event attended by officials of the Royal Navy and members of the Royal Family. Cumberland was one of the most modern ships of the line of its time. It was equipped with the latest armament and equipment, making it a formidable opponent at sea. In 1776, HMS Cumberland was sent to North America to participate in the American Revolutionary War. The ship was under the command of Captain John Murray. In August 1776, Cumberland participated in the Battle of the Chesapeake. The battle took place in the Chesapeake Bay off the coast of Virginia. About 50 ships from both sides participated in the battle. Cumberland distinguished itself in the battle, inflicting significant damage on the American fleet. The ship participated in several artillery duels, and its guns inflicted serious damage on the American frigate USS Congress. In the end, the battle ended in a British victory. The British victory in the Battle of the Chesapeake led to the capture of Philadelphia and the retreat of American forces from New York. The participation of HMS Cumberland in the Battle of the Chesapeake was one of the most important events in the history of the ship. The ship proved its power and effectiveness, and its actions in the battle contributed to the British victory in the American Revolutionary War. In 1797, HMS Cumberland was sent to the North Sea to participate in the war with France. The ship was under the command of Captain Samuel Hughes. On October 11, 1797, Cumberland participated in the Battle of Camperdown. The battle took place off the coast of Holland and was the largest naval battle of the French Revolutionary Wars. About 100 ships from both sides participated in the battle. Cumberland distinguished itself in the battle, inflicting significant damage on the Dutch fleet. The ship participated in several artillery duels, and its guns inflicted serious damage to the Dutch line of battleship De and Rat. In the end, the battle ended in a British victory. The British victory in the Battle of Camperdown led to the weakening of the Dutch fleet and to the strengthening of British naval dominance. The participation of HMS Cumberland in the Battle of Camperdown was one of the most important events in the history of the ship. The ship proved its power and effectiveness, and its actions in the battle contributed to the British victory in the French Revolutionary Wars. Here are some interesting facts about the Battle of Camperdown. The Battle of Camperdown was one of the last major naval engagements in which sailing ships were used. The captain of the Dutch line of battleship De Endrat, Jacob van Haan, was killed in the battle. His body was found on the deck of the ship and brought to England. A monument was erected in London in honor of the victory in the Battle of Camperdown. The monument is a column with the figure of the goddess of victory, Victoria, on top.
In 1798, HMS Cumberland was sent to the Mediterranean Sea to participate in the campaigns against Napoleon Bonaparte. The ship was under the command of Captain Sir James Hamilton. On August 1, 1798, Cumberland participated in the Battle of the Nile. The battle took place in Abuka Bay, near Alexandria, Egypt. About 130 ships from both sides participated in the battle. Cumberland distinguished itself in the battle, inflicting significant damage on the French fleet. The ship participated in several artillery duels, and its guns inflicted serious damage to the French line of battleship Lorient. In the end, the battle ended in a British victory. The British victory in the Battle of the Nile led to the defeat of the French army in Egypt and to the weakening of French influence in the Mediterranean Sea. The participation of HMS Cumberland in the Battle of the Nile was one of the most important events in the history of the ship. The ship proved its power and effectiveness, and its actions in the battle contributed to the British victory in the war with France. Here are some interesting facts about the Battle of the Nile. The Battle of the Nile was one of the most important naval battles in history. In the battle, the French line of battleship Lorient, on which Vice Admiral Bruise was located, was sunk. The ship was sunk by its own crew to prevent it from falling into British hands. The British victory in the Battle of the Nile led to the end of French dominance in the Mediterranean Sea. After the Battle of the Nile, HMS Cumberland continued to serve in the British fleet. The ship participated in several naval battles, including the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. In 1805, Cumberland was part of Nelson's squadron, which was pursuing the French fleet under the command of Vice Admiral Villeneuve. On October 21, 1805, the Battle of Trafalgar took place in which the British fleet won a decisive victory over the French. Cumberland participated in the Battle of Trafalgar, and its captain, Sir William Briscoe, was wounded in battle. The ship was also damaged in the battle, but was able to return to England. After the Battle of Trafalgar, HMS Cumberland continued to serve in the British fleet. The ship participated in several naval operations, including the blockade of the French coast during the Napoleonic Wars. In 1815, after Napoleon's defeat at the Battle of Waterloo, HMS Cumberland was decommissioned from the British fleet. The ship was sold and scrapped in 1818. The last years of service of HMS Cumberland were relatively quiet. The ship did not participate in major naval battles, but continued to serve in the British fleet. Additional details HMS Cumberland was one of the most successful ships in the Royal Navy during the late 18th and early 19th centuries. The ship was named after the Cumberland County in England. HMS Cumberland was a 74-gun third-rate ship of the line, which means that it was one of the largest and most powerful ships in the British fleet. The ship was built at the Detford Dockyard in England. The ship was designed by Thomas Slade, one of the most famous naval architects of the 18th century. HMS Cumberland was a popular ship among its crew, and was known for its good seaworthiness and maneuverability.
Thanks for watching.